watched a helicopter over in this area, you know, dump on a fire, and that smoke's gone in that area. Across the Columbia River from the Eagle Creek Fire, a nearly endless stream of people stopped to take a look at the biggest fire in this gorge in recent memory. Many seem surprised. Now that the smoke is cleared, it looks better than they worried it might. So it looks like it's not going to be a, a total loss. Not even close. And by the way, this is not as rare as it might feel. So these ecosystems actually evolved with fire. Fire is not a totally alien thing out here in these, in these areas. And Seth White is a watershed ecologist with the Columbia River Intertribal Fish Commission. He grew up in the gorge and knows the feeling of loss here is temporary. People had a lot of the same feelings when after Mount St. Helens erupted, people felt like uh, it was complete devastation and doom. And of course it was catastrophic for a short period of time. But in the Pacific Northwest, uh, these ecosystems have evolved to all kinds of natural disturbance, even fire. People see this big red boundary. It doesn't mean that the whole area is burned or on fire. As soon as it's safe, um, the Forest it's Service will send in experts to learn how bad the land is damaged. It, it's a combination of, of folks uh, from the local unit and also from other units. Usually you have um, hydrologists, soil scientists, engineers, recreation specialists, a combination of uh, folks, an interdisciplinary team of, of folks who come together and, and look at these various different uh, resources, impacts. Despite our recent weather, everyone knows the cold rains and snow are looming on the calendar's horizon. So the, the, the goal here is, especially with these initial assessments, is to move quickly. Because after the assessment comes repairs, some big, some small, all designed to help the Columbia Gorge heal. And it's certainly being injured right now as we look live again at the big plume coming out from the east end of the Eagle Creek Fire. This typically is the time of day when we see wildfires kick up, humidity's down and the wind is up, but Eagle Creek really showing that it's a long ways from being out. I tried to pin the Forest Service down on when those assessment teams would be on the ground. He said he really couldn't say, just that it will be as soon as possible.